welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to do a tutorial on pattern number 40884 on bracelet book. It's a diamond and X kind of pattern. Um, I made this bracelet like a while ago, like a couple of years ago actually. Um, that's why it's so dirty, but um, I wore it for a very long time. Um, so this is the pattern. It goes from, this one's kind of ombre, but it goes like diamonds and X's. Um, so today I'm gonna do like dark blues and pinks. So you're gonna need five colors. Um, I'm gonna do three shades of blue, two shades of pink but you can choose whatever colors you want. These are the colors that I picked for mine. Um, so what you're gonna do for, for string length, just start with one and you're gonna hold it in one and then you do a wingspan length, which is all the way across, down your arm, across your chest, into your other fingertips. And then you'll just cut it at the end. And this is one long string that we'll be folding in half to make two. So you'll just need one of each color of this length. So for the other colors, you can just line them up. With this one, you won't have to measure. Again, you just line them up. Once you have them all cut, we're going to line up the ends of each, then come to the center. And in the center, we're gonna make a knot. So you're just gonna take the whole thing, put it around and back up through your fingers. And I usually put about this much length for the ties. Um, you can do twisted or braided or fishtail. I have a video on different ways to end your ties if you want. Um, then we're just gonna tape it down and we'll get started on the pattern. So to begin this one is pretty simple. If you've watched my chevron tutorial, it's the exact same start. And if you haven't um, and you don't know how, you should definitely start with that video. Um, but we're going to organize our strings, so um, I'm just basing mine off the pattern that I have up. So I have my three blues, so I'm going to start with the darkest, second darkest, then my darker pink, lighter blue, and then light pink in the center. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side as well. Alright, so this is what your strings are going to look like when they are all set up. Um, and the first knot we're gonna do is gonna be in the center and it's gonna be a forward knot. So just to refresh on that, it's a four across this way. Then we're gonna pull this through and up. And then we're gonna do that one more time. Every knot is done twice. So that one is now done. Now we're gonna go over, I'm gonna start on this side and I'm gonna take my darker pink and do a forward knot over the light blue. Then I'm gonna leave that light blue there, move on to the lighter pink, do another forward knot. Now I'm gonna leave those there, go to this side and do a backward knot with pink over blue. Same thing, I'm gonna leave the blue, go to the next pink. Then I'm going to do a knot with the two pinks in the center. And because they're the same color, it doesn't matter what type of knot you do. So there's that. Now we're going to go to the far left side and I'm going to do a forward knot with dark blue over the other blue. 
and we're just making a chevron so this one's just going to go all the way in so the next one in line is the lighter blue then we'll go on to light pink then to the dark pink Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but all backward knots. Now we're gonna combine the dark into the center. Now we're gonna continue the chevron with this blue on this side. And there's the top of that. Now we're going to go and do another one with the light blue. Next we have the light pink. Next, we have the dark pink. Now we have our final chevron row of dark blue before we switch to the X part of it. Now that we completed this chevron section, we're going to go to this far left edge and take the two shades of blue and we're going to do two forward knots with the middle shade of blue. Now we have um, this blue going over this pink, but this is going to be a forward backward knot. So the first half of the knot is a normal forward knot. And then the second half is a backward knot going this way. Then we're going to leave that and do the same knot, but with the light blue over the light pink. Then we're gonna take this blue and do two backward knots. Now that we've finished that little triangle, we're gonna go back to the middle and take the dark blue that's closer to the left side and we're gonna do four backward knots all the way out to the edge. We're going to do a similar thing on the other side, but um, opposite knots. So we're going to start with two backward knots. Then we're going to do a backward forward onto this pink. So do first a backward, then a forward knot. Same thing with light blue over pink, so backward, then forward, and then we're going to go back to the other blue and do two forward knots over the light pink and 
and the light blue. Now back to the center, find the dark blue, and we're going to do four forward knots to the outside. Now we're going to go to the center and find the two dark pinks and we're going to do um, five backward knots starting in the middle going out this way. So this is kind of like a reverse chevron. So instead of starting at the edges and coming to the center, we're going to start in the center and go to the edges. Now we're going to go with the other pink and do four backward knots out to this side. Now we're going to go and do the same thing with the light pinks. Next is the same thing with light blue. Next we have the next shade of blue. Our final roll of chevrons will be with the dark blue. All right, now we're going to start on the center of the diamond part. So we're going to kind of start the same way um, with the pinks in the center as you we were doing before. Um, once you do that, we're going to do two more backward knots on this side. Then um, on the middle shade of blue, we're going to do a backward forward. And that's the left side. Um, we're gonna do a similar thing on the other side. So we're gonna do two forward knots. And then a forward backward on the middle blue. All right, and next is the center of the diamond. So for me, it's the light pinks. So just like all the other ones, we're gonna start the knot in the center. Then just with this light blue and light pink, I'm gonna do a backward forward on this side. And then on the right side, I'm gonna do a forward backward. Then I'm going to combine these light pinks in the center here. So you should have four pink knots in the center. Then I'm going to go to the left and get my pink and do two forward knots. Then I'm going to go to the right and do three backward knots. And this third backward knot is just combining with the other pink. Now, um, the last part before the pattern kind of repeats itself is we're going to close off this diamond with this dark blue color. 
So this will be four forward knots on this side. And then we'll also do them on the right side. Then we're gonna combine the dark in the center. And then the pattern pretty much repeats itself. So if you look right here, this is a chevron with the dark and then the darker pink than the lighter pink, which is the exact same as what we have at the top right here. So you can kind of imagine the top is just like the bottom half of this diamond here. So these two are the same. Um, so you can just go back to the beginning of the video and rewatch from there if you're not sure what to do. Otherwise from here, you just do um, this section of chevrons until you get to the dark. Then you would do the X, then you do the reverse chevrons, then the diamond center. And then you just repeat that whole thing until you get your bracelet um, to the length that you want. And then this one, I did braided ties, but you can choose whatever you want to do. If you make this bracelet, you can um, post it on Instagram and tag me and also follow me on Instagram. It's at Island Bracelets Co. Um, subscribe to my channel and comment any other videos you'd like me to make. Um, I know I haven't made them in a little bit, um, but I want to start making more videos for you, and so yeah. So I hope you have a great day, and good luck on the bracelet.